This is John Neal for River City Sports. I'm here at East Hamilton High School with RCS insider Taylor Ellis. Got him out here today. You know, Taylor, it's glad to have you out. Um, great pa practice we've taken in so far. Got some great notes from the teachers, um, actual some coaches. You know, Coach Gatewood's fired up. The, the whole staff's fired up. Some of the players seem more enthusiastic this week. But, Taylor, what did you see particularly today that um, – maybe that you haven't seen from a couple other teams you cover this year? Sure. As far as practice, you know, uh, the whole team, the coaches, everybody seemed to be getting after it today. You know, if it was if it was a coach telling a player, hey, line up correctly, or if it was another player getting after somebody, it was, it was more of a next guy in mentality, kind of everybody helping out today. And that's really good to see everybody kind of on the same page, especially with a team that's had some injuries earlier in the, in the season and, and really needs to bounce back from something like that. So. And you know, Taylor, there's a couple of games when I was making that Game of the Week schedule just a few months ago that you really circle and you get real excited about when those two, team, two teams match up. And, I mean, this week you got East Hamilton, you have Ottawa. You know, two teams that I thought possibly could be undefeated at, when, at the time when they were going to kick it off. But East Hamilton coming off a four, four – this will be their fourth opponent that they play that is ranked – um, in the state, you know, Signal Mountain, Dobbins, Bennett, Riverdale, um, all great teams. But it's something else that you've seen with this East Hamilton team. What do you think they're going to have to do Friday to really um, – push this Udawa team as they come to Hurricane Hill and maybe get that win? Sure, you know, it, for this team, you know, they, they're off to a slower start than I'm sure they would like to, you know, but this game I really think is going to be the turning point for the guys. You know, like I said, they're getting after it at practice. They're helping each other out, and it's going to be one of those things that I think if they can buy in, they can put the early season past them, they can really, you know, because this game, you got bragging rights for the rest of the year. This is going to be something that the guys are going to talk about. So I really think that if they can kind of come together and they can really get everything going, rolling, get a rhythm to it, they can they can do pretty well the rest of the season here. So, And um, rotating some guys in at running back, Matt Maletta, um, David Whiteside, um, Henderson's getting some touches. You know, they did have a key injury there at quarterback with um, Caleb um, Caleb Rhodes is now taking over Nick Woods that got hurt that first game against Signal Mountain. Um, what what does Caleb Rhodes need to do as a quarterback to maybe beat an Ottawa team? You know, maybe not by himself, but um, not. I mean, he's been he needs to show more consistency is what I what I would tab. But what do you think he needs to do to beat that great defense that hasn't allowed a single score on them sure. in the past two weeks? For sure, you know, he's he's got a, a great opponent coming up here in an Ottawa defense that's just they get after the ball, you know, and and they past couple of weeks they've, they've really shown that they're one of the top teams in the area here and I think the biggest thing for East Hamilton and, and their quarterback play is if he can control the chaos going into the game this Friday and, and he can you know get everybody in the right positions get everybody moving working as a unit I think they can be really successful and I mean folks that's that's something that Taylor did tab on um, a, no, a next guy up mentality um, players barking at other players he was one today at practice he was he was trying to get people lined up he's not he's not just coming in and trying to go through the motions he wants to be the starter he was trying to be the starter in spring and got beat out but now it's his ball game and he's really he's really trying to take this East Hamilton team over the top but um, talk defensively of how you shut down an Ottawa team that's kind of got all kinds of athletes on the outside and at running back. Yeah, you know, with, with something like that, it, it's not necessarily can we stop them completely, but how much can we contain them? Uh, you know, Ottawa is always going to keep reloading as far as their athletes. They've got great quarterback play, a ton of, of backs that can take the ball to the house at any given moment for them. So, you know, for, for East Hamilton's defense, I think it's going to start up front. Big guys on the defensive line, if they can plug a couple holes, get the, the runners going to the outside rather than up the, the middle of the field there, that's going to take a tremendous amount of pressure off their linebackers. And from there, it's just group tackling, working as a unit to get the, the heavier ball carriers, the bigger carriers at Ottawa to the ground. And, I mean, Taylor, um, one last thing for you here, you know, taking in practice. What Were, were there any surprises today from sur practice? I, I would personally say that um, – not seeing um, Martez Dura and Matt Maletta, you know, two great athletes. And, um, some, I mean, we're, we're, not, we're not the coaches, folks. We, we're just trying to um, analyze a little bit. But when you have two outstanding returners and two guys who, who can just take it the distance anytime they touch the ball in Matt Maletta and Martez Dura, why, why don't you think we might be seeing them in the offense? Do you think they're giving them too much reps on defense? Or do you think that they're just trying to slowly trickle them in or maybe not wanting to show us enough? Sure, sure. You know, I think it, it's still early in the week. You know, we're, we're here on a Tuesday right now. And, and these guys are playing on both sides of the ball. They've got a, a 
quite a few touches early in the season, and it's something that I think maybe a little bit is kind of giving these guys a break. You know, they, they don't want to get the, the rest of the key players that they've got hurt on, on offense, on defense, kind of taking it easier on the guys. And I really think a lot of it is trying to mature those guys since they are, you know, a few men down this year, kind of getting the, the next guys in there, getting them some reps so they can mature, they can, they can be there to, to step in when they need to. And, folks, this is John Neal for River City Sports. With me is Taylor Ellis. He, he will be at the East Ridge Brainerd game this this Friday night. We will be here at Hurricane Hill with kickoff at 7.30. Also, check back of our game of the weeks. Last week we were at Brainerd, and as Baylor hosted Brainerd, we got a um, – recap on our site about that all kinds of coverage on the site be checking later for our river city roundup that will also be airing on the site we got a podcast coming we we got everything folks just you got to you got to keep with us and keep supporting us and keep pushing that that brand of river city sports as we try to get out of here and show the best coverage in the area and you know taylor i'm real excited to get back out here and i know you're excited to get back to east ridge but um, we'll be at Utawa tomorrow, Wednesday, and get some stuff from them. But, again, East Hamilton versus Utawa here Friday night at 730.